Hey, welcome back everybody. As you can see, we're with Rufus and Goal, at least two parts of Goal, here, and uh, we made it to Porto Fisco, where I'm not sure what we gotta do, but uh, I guess follow the smell, as Rufus said. Power inverter, what? Uh-huh, and fire. Of course, fire is always good. Um, let's oh, check the burning barrel. Mm -hmm. My superb trick with the field <laughs> Well, what is this? Can we pick up the power inverter? <clears throat> Those have always come in handy before, right? All right, so we got this power inverter. Hmm. Let's go in this mystical tent here. Maybe she's a fortune teller. Can reveal come our in the roof oh. Us. I have been expecting you. Oh, he's got platypus Excellent. statue. My reputation precedes me. Not at all. The crystal ball. Ooh, Tell crystal ball. <gasps> he's got a banana. Knows my name. Actually, I heard you humming your name in the entrance. But no matter. No matter. Okay. Late, Rufus. I, I was held up. Yes. I also predicted that. Which, strictly speaking, makes no sense. Exactly. One more thing. I am going to greatly resent. That you stealing my bananas. Are, okay. are you some sort of psychic? I possess the third eye, yes, but I don't practice anymore. Then I dumped the coffee grounds on the carpet in the ante room for nothing? Well, <laughs> times have changed. Today, if you don't want to end up getting burnt at the stake, you're better off keeping dark forebodings to yourself. That's why I <laughs> okay, fair enough. To couples. Couples counseling, Say huh? what? You foresaw that you would foresee bad times, and so you gave up fortune telling? But, but, no. I give up my job in time. Therefore, I will never foresee bad times. And ah. what will never happen cannot be foreseen. However, I did foresee that I would give up my job for this reason. Uh, I kind of wish I was back with Doc's time anomalies. <laughs> <coughs> <clears throat> you do couples counseling now? Yes. For some reason, people are more receptive to bad news when it comes to their relationships. Okay. Can you predict the lottery numbers? I could. Oh, come on. Why not? Tell me the lottery numbers. No. Will I succeed in saving the world? The future is not yet written, Rufus, except in my journal, of course. Oh, of course, of course. I will course, be course. very busy next month. So I get a little ahead of myself. Why do you live in a tent? <laughs> My customers expect a mystical ambience. It is also practical. In the okay. event of a catastrophe, I can pack all my belongings together in a matter of minutes. W wait, what sort of catastrophe? Oops. Um, the fabric of time is in constant motion. A veil lies across the future. No, uh, no, 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 no. Uncertainty plays naked on the bongos. There is no gasoline for Sati Nav's chainsaw. Ooh. What? Hey, don't change the subject. What sort of catastrophe? Ooh. Oh, dear. I don't want your bananas. You will steal them nevertheless. Believe me. <laughs> okay. I don't want to bother you any longer. I have seen it otherwise. <laughs> okay, so let's steal his bananas then. Ah, it is time. It is time. The time of the great banana heist great has banana come. Heist. As was foreseen. You underestimate me. I can fight it. Go on. Accept your fate. No, never. Oh God, oh, just yeah. take the damn banana, Rufus. Help yourself. No. <laughs> 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 That's the way. <laughs> Submit to your fate. <laughs> well, that was odd. <clears throat> we talked to Goal. Hey, Goal. Everything okay? I'm bored. Didn't you promise me adventure and extreme maneuvers? I didn't make any promises I actually meant to keep. What's that <coughs> funny smell? I hope it isn't you. 
<laughs> no, I think it's coming from that guy over there. That's what I would have said in your place. Oh, gosh. Yeah, to distract suspicion away from you. Why should I? I smell fantastic. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's that bum Subject over there, closed. no doubt. <laughs> you coming with me to the fortune teller? He lives in the tent. A fortune teller? No way, forget it. Why should I let some random imposter tell me where I'm going? Hey, I don't believe in that stuff either. <laughs> I meant you. Oh. <laughs> no sign of Donna Goal. You aren't really making much of an effort, are you? Hey, I'm saving my energy for upcoming challenges. And what if the challenges don't come? Trust me, they're on their way. They're massing for a surprise With attack. Rufus? In the end, all our plans will be foiled, and nothing but an extremely risky coup can save us. And it yeah, always exactly. works like that? Every time. Pretty much. Cool. On we go. All right, let's I go talk you to the... you're doing. Let's go talk to this smelly guy over here. And find out what place he's protecting, he's guarding. <clears throat> hey there, uh, socially disadvantaged contemporary. Uh, is that necessary? Why? Isn't that the politically correct term? I especially didn't say rancid bum, although it was very tempting. <laughs> My name is Goon. And if you want to make fun of oh, that, you're in the wrong place. Hey, don't worry. I'm a friend of the little guy. The little guy? Yeah, his name is Wenzel. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'd almost forgotten that the lower classes don't understand the language of the educated elite. Fortunately, I'm well versed in ghetto slang. Oh, no, no. Oh, oh gosh. No, no, please don't do that. Hey ho, my brother. What's up in the hood? Oh, jeez. Please stop that i haven't always lived on the street i'm an academic oh <laughs> now i understand this is some sort of a social experiment right you've disguised yourself as a tramp in order to study their customs <laughs> um precisely precisely yeah. yeah very clever i almost fell for it but not, not quite i will admit your stink is authentic but as far as your behavior goes there's a lot to improve. I'm very familiar with the habits of the average hobo. I could uh, teach you a few things if you'll answer a couple of questions in return. But no, no objection. No objections. <laughs> you look hungry. I am. For months, I've been living off the algae that grow on the key wall. My gums are bleeding, but what else can I do? <laughs> I see you're making an effort, but <clears throat> just because it's pathetic, that doesn't make it, you know, bum style. Bum so, style. So what do bums eat? Whatever they can find, I'm afraid. No, 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 wrong. Last week, I even nibbled off the scabs from a discarded bandage. Oh. No, 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 no. I said wrong. No. Bums eat shoes. What? Shoes. Everyone knows they that. They shoes. <laughs> What's the smell? Oh, what is that horrible smell? Oh, how insensitive of me. <laughs> That's you. <laughs> don't you think you're overdoing it a bit? <laughs> Very fun. You don't exactly sound of orchids yourself. Hey, stay in character, okay? A bum <laughs> like you doesn't even know what, what, what orchid delias are. So keep it cool. Yeah, okay? yeah. Is that your umbrella? Hey, hands off! It's the only thing I still own. The weather here on the key can sometimes be quite unpleasant. Yet don't worry, I'm not gonna take it away from you. I'm just gonna make a couple of modifications. It just, it looks too new. You think so? Even though it was struck by lightning the other day? What did he do? There, that should do. But now it won't protect me from the rain at all. Yeah, don't be so ungrateful. I'm helping you stay in character. Yeah, can I borrow the umbrella? Borrow your umbrella? Are you crazy? First you uh, break it, and now you want to take it away from me? Well, if it's broken, then what do you need it for? As a, a prop for my role. Okay, okay. How about a deal? I'll give you something to eat, and you give me the umbrella. Agreed? You, you would really do it for me? Of course. I told you I was a philanthropist. All right, so maybe we'll give him a banana in a minute. We can practice a little freestyling. As a resident of the ghetto, you only have to master one instrument, the beatbox. Beatbox? It's very simple. Like this. Oom, um, a chew. Oom, um, a chew. Oom, um, a chew. And now, you.
Um, achê, um, um, achê. Rufus got the groove. Rufus got the groove. Yeah. Who's cooler than a platypus in hibernation? Who kicks ass in any situation? Who makes ladies faint and shriek? Can't be copied. He's unique. It's Rufus. Yeah, yeah, Rufus. <laughs> Who's got style? Who is cooler? Who can fool her? Who's the ruler? Who is daring, never queasy? Who will soon be in Elysee? Um, Rufus! Yeah, yeah, Rufus! Baum! Baum! Hey, 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 what? What, huh? <laughs> he got a little carried away. What's that supposed to be? Well, I thought I'd build in a break. You know, that's not thinking. That's pushing yourself into the spotlight. I mean, apparently there's no point in trying to teach you to freestyle. <laughs> Too bad that was one cool song. <laughs> Bum. Too bad that was one cool song. You didn't happen to see a submersible go by here. No, sorry. I left my snorkeling gear in my winter house. Oh, that's a pity. Wait a minute. You don't have a winter home. That was sarcasm. <laughs> You're quick on the uptake. Yeah, okay. No more sarcasm. All right, bums. Don't use sarcasm. Okay. Can you tell me a few things about Porta Fisco? Certainly. What would you like to know? How do I get to the Upper Ascension Station? You can't. The Organon has sealed off all the routes to the Ascension Customs. Why? Why? Do you know where I can find the Rebels' secret hideout? Huh? Sure. The entrance is right here in the sewers. Oh, okay. No, no, I meant the secret hideout. I only know this one here. Isn't Port of Fisco also an Organon settlement? It's even their central headquarters. Ulysses has his office right by the Ascension Customs of the Upper Ascension State. Okay. It's always been the Organon's job to keep the Deponians away from the high boats. Now there's only one left, and they say it will be leaving the planet very soon. Who knows? Maybe then the Organon will finally disappear from Port of Fisco. Ah, uh, you don't want that. Port of Fisco will make a great leap upwards. Yeah, more than you think. Uh, pardon me. <laughs> yeah, just, uh, uh, boring, yeah, nothing. <laughs> I can't say I found the story all that boring. All right, so let's change okay, the let's subject. Let's change the subject. This place is somehow depressing. Yes, yes, I, I can understand that. Port of Fisco has depressed me my whole life long. Yes, but you aren't that important, so it isn't as bad for you. Uh, let's... Smell you later. And remember what I taught you. Sure thing, my brother. Oh, and, uh, okay, wait, 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 wait. One more tip. Nobody likes a smart man. So maybe we can give bananas to. Look hungry. I am. You don't happen to have anything edible on you? Uh, nothing suitable. Oh gosh, no. I mean, Rufus. I, I don't care what it is. I could eat anything. No, no, no. Wrong. What do you mean wrong? You can't eat just anything. Bums eat shoes. Okay. What? Shoes. Everyone knows that. So I gotta bring him shoes, and he'll give me his umbrella, huh? Okay. Hmm. Wow, what the heck here? Old power no turbine. Way. That could have been turned into a fantastic escape mechanism. Or a high-speed cheese grater. Let's open the hatch. Oh, well. What a waste. Hold that on, I wonder. Turned into a fantastic escape mechanism. Or a high-speed cheese grater. I wonder if we can put the power inverter in there. This was bound to happen. The tank is empty. Shoot. Let me try to put the power inverter in there. It fits. All right. Hmm. Needs gas, though. Let's close the hatch. Well, what was this note he plus, gave me? Plus, minus, plus. Plus, minus, plus. What is that plus. supposed to mean? I must say, I'm nonplussed. Plus, minus, plus, huh? In regards to this door. Yes, it's me, Rufus. No, it's not. If you were Rufus, you'd know the secret knock. I know it. It uh, starts with N, right? Ha. Good luck. All right, so it's a mini game, huh? <clears throat> plus minus plus. Is that supposed to be a code? One thing's for certain. These knock puzzles get dumber by the minute. Rufus can knock up to five times until Leibold would interrupt him. Can you figure out the pattern of Leibold's answers? Hmm. Plus, minus, plus. Let's see here. 
Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. One, two, three. So... Four. Hey, that was actually correct. Wow, that was confusing as heck. Rufus, is you guys have you? no idea. What are you doing out there? What do I know? Maybe I just enjoy it. Was, it was Come on in. Yanlish is expecting you. No, that was that was ridiculous. Wow. Cause it was supposed to, you know, you knock on the thing and it's supposed to knock back, but you can't really hear the knocks. You have to watch for the knocks in that little blue thing in the door. Oh my gosh. Let's go in here and see what we can see. Rufus, please to well, see you. Yanosh. Oh no. Is that who I think it is? Yanosh. Wow. Very impressive what setup you there. Up here is, it's not all bad. Yes, recruitment operations are running smoothly. <laughs> I must have underestimated my charisma. Or the fact That's that Tony. nobody likes being blown to smithereens. Uh huh, Tony. Tony. Oh God. You? Thought I recognized her. You seem to have met number twenty-six. This is number two, our spiritual guide. Rufus is number two. That must be a joke. Yeah, why am I only number two? But now, we have won more than 25 people in our couch. You mean 26? Precisely. Also, that each counting the three train door rings, Ashley. And you're complaining about your number? <laughs> you're training dolphins? That's my job here. Got a problem with that? They are torpedo dolphins. Torpedo ah. dolphins. I can see how under Tony's care, even peaceful dolphins might be transformed into bloodthirsty implements of destruction. But what's the point of that? I mean, how can trained dolphins possibly help you to capture an elevator headed for orbit? We've got to work with whatever we can get. Which appears to be especially <clears throat> true for spiritual guides. First, we were going for flying dragons, but that proved to be a way to mistake. Flying dragons, well, obviously. Like... number 27, but he just wouldn't listen. Sorry, Cat was thinking of jumping up over the back of my TV. That would have been disastrous. Instead, she decided to pounce on the PS4 and uh, wiggle the uh, external hard drive. Now, where were we? All right, uh, Leopold looks to be up there mending socks. I don't know who that guy is over there. There's drain, there's junk, there's dolphins. Uh, what, what is, what is this? What is this? Just start messing with stuff. Um, I don't know what that did. Salana Iyong Ayeses. What was that? What do you think? I speak dolphin -y. Oh, he's trying to speak to the dolphins, huh? I can understand that if you're their trainer. Maybe I should just break a couple of your bones. I think that might cheer them up. They love physical comedy. Uh, okay, so we don't have to mess with that yet then, huh? Don't know who that guy over there is. Uh, let's get the canister. That must be for the machine out front, right? All right. Now we got some baby dolphins. Hey, you should Uncle Rufus teach you a couple of tricks? Hmm? No. <laughs> oh, they're so happy. Sweet. Splashing one of their brothers. Nervous hatch. You even have a kitchen? Certainly. Well, oh, all you right. Supply our troops somehow. Wow. That's more than I would have expected of you. What do you think? We aren't just playing around. What's an apron like an orange juice, Yanos? It's his mother. Oh, now, Mama. Ah, I, I guess we'll hey, talk Anna. to these guys. Ah, Rufus, death to the organ on the showroom. How did you manage to mobilize so many people in such a short time? I think so. 
just used that to keep a planet under their feet. And I also promise them t-shirts with funny things if we win. If we win. Let me turn this music down. Uh. I'm off to hunt submersibles. I bet you look. Do you feel a revolution? Because Yanosh is kind of hard to hey, understand Anna. without ah, volume. Rufus, death to the organ on and show on. Let's see, yeah, what's Tony doing Tony here? What's Tony doing here? You know number 26. She joins a rebellion because someone destroyed her hometown. Yeah, I uh -huh. know. The organ on. No, no, not the organ on. Somebody called Evan Bastard. <laughs> Never heard of him. <laughs> oh. Wow. Alright, so what's up with the torpedo dolphins? What's up with those torpedo dolphins? Cool, aren't they? If you need them, talk to number 26. But don't expect too much. I had to shell the torpedo equipment to order pizza for all of us. Oh, well, that's not good. You sold all the torpedo equipment? Yes, in the gadget shop in the floating black market. Oh, lovely. The chopper mat gave me fireproof inshosh as a bonus. All right, so we're going to have to go back there to get the torpedo equipment. Who bought your torpedo equipment? The chopper man. Just right. in time before the chop closed. So the shopper man bought. Uh, Donna is hiding underwater. Hm. I almost wish I hadn't showed the torpedo equipment. On the other hand, the peach of us very good. Let it cheesy with the pepperoni. Uh, Isn't it a little too risky to operate directly under the nose of the organon? Oh, uh, speaking of which, you got a booger there. A booger? Ooh, icky, icky, icky. But that is exactly the point. You can't see right under your nose and down here in the shoeish, nobody wants to smell either. We are even <laughs> almost out of air fresheners. Oh, I'm off All right. submersibles. I bet you look. Do you feel a revolution? Well, we know we're... That is My Dolphinese is so accent free it leaves them speechless. So we need to go back and get the torpedo equipment. Well, look who came toddling after me. See? You've never been able to resist my animal magnetism. Keep it short, okay? I have a job to do here that needs my total concentration. Guarding dolphins? Keeping down my lunch. Well, all right, Tony. What are you doing here anyway? I could ask you the same thing. Didn't you want to go to Elysium with that Gloria? Her name is Gold. And where is Gold? Has she already succumbed to one of your brilliant maneuvers? Did you accidentally toss her out of a burning hot air balloon? Far from it. It was an escape pod. Yeah. Or did you saw her into pieces? Not literally. Goal is waiting <laughs> outside, and she's in good health. At least two-thirds of her. One can only feel sorry for her. Gee, thanks, Tony. How did you get here? You didn't know what to do with yourself without me. Uh -huh. Well, I woke up one morning and was amazed to discover that there wasn't a single fire to extinguish in the whole house. I didn't have to repair the roof, scrape toothpaste off the heater, doctor any wounded neighbors. It wasn't <laughs> even necessary to shoo a GNU out of the kitchen. And then you felt a yearning for me. And then oh, yes. I remembered that I haven't had a vacation in years. In Booza Westwalk, I heard rumors about a rebellion against the Organon. Apparently, that triggered my old rescuer syndrome. You have a rescuer syndrome? If anything, you have a kidnap princesses and hurl fireballs at the rescuer syndrome. Call it what you want. I just thought my experience in recovering the victims of explosions could be useful. Hey, so you do owe some of your skills to me. I can't argue with that. <laughs> Great mm. to have you here. Beat it. But he was trying to be nice. Whether you believe it or not, I am the leader. Oh, heavens. Just like in my worst nightmare. Oh, yeah. So you still dream of me. I was in therapy because of that. Well, as much as I'd love to talk about your fantasies of me, your dream man has an important mission. Oh. You won't believe everything that's happened to me. Let me guess. You were almost in Elysium, and then your good nature got in the way once again. How did you know that? Exactly. That's exactly that's what happened. This conversation always goes. Next, I say, that's what you said the last time. And you say... But it really happened that way this time. Exactly. And even if you are about to say the opposite, you are never going to change. But I have changed. <laughs> Darn it. 
The uh, dolphin pool needs to be cleaned again. Recruit. Excuse me? I hope yes, I misheard recruit. that. But Tony, I am the leader here after all. I have to make sure that everything runs smoothly. And I can't show you preferential treatment just because we used to be together. That is... Is there a problem, Rufus? I don't think you have your team under control, Yanosh. Number 26 here actually attempted to contradict me just now. Oh, is that the fact? I must say, number 26. If the boss gives you an order, then you must obey. But... No butch, recruit! <laughs> oh, aye, aye, boss. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I was wrong. This is a lot worse than my nightmare. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, and by the way, I want my coffee black for the meeting, recruit. You cannot be serious. Yanosh. Recruit! <laughs> You're out of your minds. I am not your... Recruit! Oh, and don't spill any, recruit. You're digging your own grave. <laughs> yeah, whatever. It's worth it. I want to keep pushing her, but I think we'll get in trouble. So. I have a couple Ask, of questions some dolphins. about the dolphins. Uh, no, you can't train them to sing karaoke with you. Okay, so much for that idea. But... Mm, yeah. Why are the torpedo dolphins so small? Those aren't torpedo dolphins, you moron. They're their offspring. Baby dolphins? Oh, how cute. There. What was that? W what was what? Your look. You had that look again. I, I did not. Get what? away look. from uh, the pool. Yes, all right, all right. The baby dolphins have their pool right next to the service. It's a platypus pool, too. Isn't that a little unsafe? How was I to know you'd crop up here? They make cat food out of baby dolphins, don't they? If anything happens to them, I will kill you. I'm serious. I will kill you. Uh, that wasn't a no. <laughs> Why do the dolphins look so sad? They're depressed. <laughs> I can understand that if you're their trainer. Maybe I should just break a couple of your bones. I think that might cheer them up. They love physical comedy. Uh, how can I cheer up the dolphins? How can I cheer up the dolphins? Jump in front of a moving cruiser? No, there aren't any cruisers down here. But it might help. They love physical comedy. Alright. If those are torpedo dolphins, then where are their torpedoes? Not where you're thinking. Chuh, that's a relief. Janosch sold the torpedo equipment to pay for pizza. Are you serious? Pizza? No, there isn't any left. Oh, darn it. Uh, yeah. How did you wind up training dolphins? I told them I used to live with a crazy baboon. Apparently, that qualified me. Oh, well, fair enough. I need the dolphins' help for my hunt. No way! Oh, Tony, please. This is important. He's right, 26. Rufus needs your dolphins more than we do. All right, but right now you won't have much luck with them. They've been totally depressed all day. All right, so okay, how can I'll we cheer them, cheer them up. up? After all, I'm a great entertainer. Oh, look at me! I'm Tony. My hobbies are bitching, screaming, and training dolphins. Yeah. Oh yeah. I've still got it. You can't tell the difference from the original. <laughs> Maybe it would cheer them up if you slowly choke to death. They love physical comedy. But they love physical comedy. They love physical you know, I think comedy. we should change the subject. All this talk is making me hungry for tuna. And my ulcer is acting up again. So... Drop and give me 20, recruit. Don't push your luck. Hey, this is Civil War, Tony. Every little bit of flab on your thighs could mean the death of one of our comrades. You miserable! Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Oh, utterly overpowered by the sheer evilness of the hideous creature, our dear hero perished and was no more. Restore. There. Okay. <laughs> so, physical comedy. Uh, hello? Oh, hello! Another new face. Are you one of Yanosh's little friends? Hey, listen. I'm the leader of a rebellion against the Organon. Of course you are. Would our brave leader like an orange juice? Maybe later. You wouldn't happen to have any cat food. I'm sorry, my boy, no. 
I wanted to make some earlier, but the nice young lady pointed out to me that the baby dolphins aren't part of the supplies. Hmm. What nice young lady? 